Welcome to The Hollywood Scholar, I'm Chad Morgan, and a new teaser trailer for the Doctor Who 60th Anniversary three-part special has released yesterday. I know I'm a little bit late coming out with this news, but unfortunately, real-life stuff gets in the way. But this teaser, there's a lot good in it, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your perspective on all this. Me, personally, I have no hope overall for the future of Doctor Who. I haven't for a long time now. Even the return of Russell T. Davies wasn't enough to reignite my passion for this franchise. I have a lot of skepticism, a lot of fear but these teasers they do a lot for me they do twinge at my cold dead heart when it comes to doctor who because i love seeing david Tennant and Catherine tate back and i have no doubt that they will absolutely be phenomenal in three part 60 in their anniversary i know that for a fact they're both incredible actors and in these teasers they do a great job i love the lines that david Tennant delivers he really comes off as the doctor once again even though he's quite a bit older looks a lot different he's still the doctor and so i will absolutely be watching these giving them a chance because i want nothing more than doctor who i want to eat crow on this i've never wanted to eat crow more in my life than when it comes to the future of doctor who with russell t davies but i have a ton of concerns because of who russell t davies is as a man right now and the undoing potentially of the dr donna story i love how it ended at the end of season four and what they did with it in the end of time two-part special. I don't want to see any of that undone. I don't want to see Donna's story retroactively changed. It's perfect the way it is. We can't undo it. We can't have her remember the doctor. It's clear from these teasers, though, that she does from her lines at the very beginning where she says, why did you bring back this face to say goodbye? I don't know why that is. I don't know why David Tennant's doctor needs to say goodbye. And I'm a little worried about it. It is kind of cool that David Tennant is now playing three different versions of the Doctor since he is one of the most beloved Doctors, only rivaled perhaps by Tom Baker, the fourth Doctor. And there's just a lot I'm worried about. There's a lot, lot I'm worried about. I won't be playing the trailer because the BBC is known for striking people and claiming people to a further degree than most other studios. But I do want to show you a few stills from it, including these monsters. I don't know what it is with these monsters. They look kind of cheaply made with the massive budget that they have in cooperation with Disney Plus, which is a massive, massive concern for me. Why are these monsters looking so cheap? I don't know if they are. They look kind of fly-like. I don't know if they're some sort of cousins to the fly creatures we saw in the David Tennant special, the first David Tennant special. I don't know what that's going to be. I don't know who they're going to be. They just come off a really cheap looking, really cheap looking. And like I mentioned before, the Donna stuff at the beginning has me very worried. I love seeing Catherine Tate back. Don't get me wrong, but her lines right here to say goodbye. She recognizes the doctor. I have a big issue with that. And moving on a little bit, the episode titles are revealed in this and they're fine for the most part. The Star Beast is kind of generic. It reminds me a lot of the Star Whale that we saw at the beginning of Matt Smith's season five, which is a great episode with Karen Gillan's Amy in it and has a lot of good philosophical questions that I, I adore that episode. It reminds me of that, probably not related to it at all. That's just what it reminded me of. Wild Blue Yonder, though, that I think is a great, great episode title. I love that idea because Wild Blue Yonder, that's a big, you know, American song phrase that we use here in America and, you know, Blue Tardis, it just sounds cool. It sounds Doctor who -y. I love that title. That one I am 100% on board for. But the third one, The Giggle, that's weird. That's cheesy. That's not okay. I'm not okay with that one. I'm not okay with that one at all. And it seems like from this little teaser, they have three parts of it divided up into what those episodes are, like the first part, first episodes, middle part, second episode, whatnot. And what they show for The Giggle is Beep the Meep, and he's big from the comic books and the books. I'm not familiar with this character very much because I never read the comic books that Beep the Meep is from, but a lot of fans are excited to see him come to live action, so I'm happy for them that they're happy that he's coming to live action. But at the same time, I don't know what I'm going to think about this character. I don't know what the giggle is and why we only really see Beep the Meep from the giggle section. That has me concerned because I'm not really I'm not really buying this look. I'm not really buying it. I don't know how it fits with the tone. Doctor Who can be very cheesy. Absolutely. It can be a little campy. And that design absolutely fits within it. I'd have to see the episode to make a statement on whether or not Beep the Meep was a good idea or not. We'll have to see. And that's really what they showed in the trailer. It's relatively short, but I do need to praise Doctor Who a little bit here because in the last few years, Doctor Who and a lot of these other franchises from other studios forgot what it's like to tease the fans, to do cool stuff, to trust them, to make them figure stuff out. And in the lead up to this trailer and the lead up to Eurovision, where this teaser was released, 
Doctor Who released a bunch of random little like cryptic teasers that cut in into other commercials on the BBC, on BBC One. And they had like reversible messages, binary codes that revealed these episode titles leading up to it. And before the episode came out a couple hours, they released this little six second spot where it's just a bunch of backwards text and some shots from the trailer and a bunch of binary. This is cool. I have to say, this is cool. This is something that Doctor Who hasn't done in a very, very long time, at least as far as I'm aware. And a lot of other franchises used to do stuff like this back in the 2000s, the 2010s, tease their fans, interact with them a little bit, give them puzzles, give them things to solve. And I love that aspect of it. I don't know whose idea was it. If it was the BBC, Disney+, Plus, Russell T Davies, somebody else, David Tennant himself, maybe. I don't know whose idea it was, but whoever that is, I want to shake their hand because... It's kind of cool. It gets you excited about Doctor Who again. If you're willing to go through the effort to decrypt what they've offered to you, that builds suspension even more. So I have to give a little bit of praise to these creators for doing that, for reminding me of the way that franchises used to operate. But that's where most of my praise for this teaser trailer ends, with the exception of the phenomenal acting of both David Tennant and Catherine Tate. We got a little bit more of Neil Patrick Harris, not enough to have a firm statement on his character whatsoever. I still think he's the celestial toy maker like a lot of other people do, but he might be the master. He might be somebody else entirely. And I'm just not sure how that's all going to play out. Maybe he's a new character entirely. We'll have to wait and see. Overall, I am very, very conflicted, but leaning more on the side of zero hope, zero anticipation. And it's not really been affected overall by this set of teasers, by this actual trailer, because there's just too much working against it. The man that Russell T. Davies is now is just too opposed to good storytelling that I don't know if he can pull this off. I want him to. I want good Doctor Who again, but as long as the Timeless Children and Jodie Whittaker, Chris Chibnall's entire run is canon, I don't know if I can ever, ever reinvest into the franchise, but that's all I have for today. I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys interested in this teaser? Did this teaser bring you back in? Are you interested in Doctor Who? You want to see David Tennant back? Do you think this is going to be good? Will Russell T Davies be enough to get you back into the franchise and hopefully get you back to loving Doctor Who once again? I would love to know. I'm so on the fence in this. I mean, definitely leaning one side way more than the other, but I'm so on the fence that I am 100% open to discourse about this and people who disagree and want to know why people are excited about this and vice versa as well. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Anon. Hey, yo, are you feeling what I'm doing up in here? Oh, I know you are. Do you miss all the good, compelling stories that we used to get back in Hollywood that they ain't putting down no more? Yo. Oh. Oh, I know you missing it. So check out my book series, Odyssey of a Phoenix, a mythological epic about philosophy, morality, and modern day mental illness issues, baby. Book one, Down in Flames. Book two, Apocalypse Then. These are currently on sale. What are you waiting for? Get your hands on them. And we got book three, Kill the Dark. is coming down the pipeline. Just wait for all the good stuff that's dropping. You ain't gonna be disappointed, fam.